Hi everybody, just doing a quick video on my 3D printer. Now this is uh, an Anet 6 3D printer I bought second hand. Now you know I do I do my grass cutting in the summer and then in the winter months I get on with the model railway and printing and all the other fun stuff. And I turn the printer on um, and the first thing I noticed, this little bracket for the belt tensioner had snapped. Um, probably because it's printed out of PLA, so it's degraded over the last couple of years. So I managed to glue it back together and I'm hoping to print a new one. Um, so once I got that back together and I turned it on, the screen said, on the bottom of the screen here, it said max bed temp error. So I naturally, I looked on YouTube and they said everything about the thermistor on the hot end would be faulty. So I checked all the wiring on here. I had no way of testing that. Because um, they're going about the thermistor on your hot end or the thermistor on your um, heated bed could be um, faulty. And that's giving you that reading. But the more I looked into it, the more videos I watched, it's, if it's saying a min bed temperature, then that would be the thermostat on your hot plate. Um, or your build bed, sorry. Um... And I was just checking video after video. Um, I took all this wiring off, and they, they looked like there might have been a break in the wire. I cut it, resoldered it, put heat shrink on. Still nothing. And then I came across a video, and this chap saying, "If your screen is reading max bed error, temperature error, he's saying there's a resistor gone on the motherboard." He's saying because these are everything's made in China, these things degrade and something has happened. Now last year I was trying to print with ABS. I couldn't get the the bed up to temperature. Um, you know you have to have a hotter bed to keep the temperature of the ABS up while it's printing. Um, so maybe I had a fault that was starting to show itself then. Anyway, he said, let me show you on, on on here, if it will focus. What it is, is one of these tiny resistors, let me get it up there. One of those tiny resistors is blown. Now he says, you can replace these resistors. Now I did find these tiny, tiny little resistors here. You can get a pack of 10 of them for five quid. But um, my soldering skills wouldn't, I haven't got the skills to change that. Although I do know someone who could. Um, it was only 20 quid for a whole new motherboard. Then I thought in the future I would have all these spare parts if I needed them to swap bits out. Because my old dear, my mum, used to do circuit boards back in the day um, and she said yeah I can change it for you no problem and that's 80 year old lady <laughs> anyway I changed the motherboard turned it back on everything's fine so we've cured the problem um, now the new motherboard which was 20 pounds it did take a couple of weeks to come is slightly different it's got a fuse in here. Now it does say this is the upgraded motherboard. Um, so it's got a fuse in here where it hasn't on here. And then this section here, which were push connectors, has been changed out for some standard screwing sections anyway. I plugged it in. I took I took about ten photos to make sure. If I couldn't, if I twiddled the wires around or something, I could double check that I was putting everything back in the same place. Obviously, I had it unplugged. 
Um, wired these back in and turned it on and I'm back in action. So I just got to get myself, I'm not going to bother using the PLA which I had upstairs because the PLA tends to degrade if it's not put back in its sealed vacuum bag and because there wasn't much left I didn't bother so I've got to get a new reel. Um, but all my problems started when I bought a roll of this silver, silver grey stuff. I started having problems with my um, hot end getting bunged up. So make sure you buy some decent quality PLA. Um, anyway, so I'm back in action. So I need to print some new ones of those. And like it says in the book I bought, print your print yourself some spares before they break. Now I do know a chap up the road who's got a printer who could quite easily print that for me. If this snaps during printing, because it could well do, because it fractured right across the edge there. I'd obviously left this belt tensioned. And that probably hasn't helped. If you can just about see the, the split along there where I glued it back together. But I'm hoping if I don't over tension that I can reprint a new section. Um, I went on the 123D design and just printed out a new section of that to print off. And what I need to do is this thing here, this was another issue, which I think might might have been a cause. This is my st st stop for the up and down travel. This was way out of line. You can see it's moving now. And the bed came down and went right down hard. The hot end pushed this right down. I unscrewed it all, and I'm not sure if I might have caused a problem then with the two terminals of the thermostat touching the frame underneath, that might have blown the resistor. So, um, you live and learn. If you're going to be pissing about changing any of this stuff, turn it off so you don't short anything out. You know, if you find it, you're, you know, when you level your bed. You're only moving that a couple of turns on your screws. If you find suddenly it's all too hard down, the first thing to do is check your stops. Um, I have had trouble with that one before. And this one here, that screw came out. Of course, when the travel came along, bang, 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 it was banging on there because it couldn't turn itself off. So your safety checks when you haven't been using it for a while, I would say is check that one, that one, and the one at the back to make sure see it in there make sure they're all connected properly anyway so the moral of the story is if you get your max bed temp error on here the chances are it might not be your thermostat it could if you if you do all your checks on your thermostats and they're fine it's a good chance it's the motherboard you know, that might not be any use to anybody, but it's sorted my printer out, hopefully. Anyway, cheers, guys. Thank you. Bye.